What's up card fighters? Clark here from Vanguard Central coming at you with a raging form deck profile. Stand up! Vanguard! So starting off with our starter, we have Judge Bow Revenger. Um, if he boosts a phantom, you get to search your deck for two grade ones and call him as rest. But Judge Bow is mainly used in this deck for the name just to sacrifice him to Lord uh, Lord Raging Form. So Then we have two 10k attackers, just for that early rush or and damage, and Revenger name. And we have three Limit Break Enablers, who you used to call out with mana. And then we have four of the new guy, Revenger of Vigor, Maul, Mar, who uh, when you have a grade three Shadow Paladin Vanguard, you can call it to rear, counter blast one, and grab a grade 3 of the same name from your deck so this guy he's pretty good you can actually put him in abyss and not really worry too much because that deck has a better unflip engine as well but in raging form he just grabs you all all the raging forms in deck that you need or a stride fought or anything that you would need the next turn he will grab it for you so it's a, a deck thin when you do mana into mar and then grab a grade 3 so it's pretty good so it's a it's a two two cards out of your deck essentially. Then we have four Karma Collector. <clears throat> I use him just because the there is no unflip engine in this deck, otherwise you'd be, you know, running Blaster Dark and Doran and that's more reliable in a sense. But I chose Karma Collector just for the unflips to make plays happen with Abyss or your stride zone and not really worry. Because I mean you'll you'll heal throughout the game, but you know karma is just that insurance that um, Maclear doesn't bring to the deck. On to our grade twos, we have four of Blaster Dark Avenger Abyss for his name and also his uh, Counter Blast One, retire a grade one or less. So he's good against like DP, he's good against any deck that really relies on the starter. Just don't put um, Grenache from Grand Blue in the drop zone because they'll really appreciate it. Next, we have four. Willy Revenger Mana. She's pretty hard to find now. Pretty um, pretty good card. I would say she's one of the best cards in Shadow Paladin because of her ability to deck thin and grab anything, any grade one you need at the time. So I really, really like uh, Mana. She's an MVP in this deck. Then we have four Revenger Dark Plus Angel that when he, when uh, she is sacrificed, you can call, you can counter blast one and grab a grade one so she she essentially makes the raging form play happen um so you'll have one column of her and a grade one then whatever's in the middle and then mana and limit break enabler and then you'll sacrifice her column first to ensure yourself another restand with um raging form so it's pretty interesting i mean like if there's any grade 2 I would change, it would be her, but just because of the consistency in order to get another restand off, um, she is the one that'll get that to you. So, <clears throat> I mean, like, I, I thought Shadow Paladin was ban bamboozled in this set for uh, not, a, not better support, I guess, but, um, you know, it could have been better. On to our main boss of our deck is... Revenger Raging Form Dragon. So at limit break you can sacrifice three and then ride a raging form from hand and that and then a swing for another twenty-one. And then when it attacks you can counter blast one and it can swing for twenty-four. So this deck is really really good against the grade two game. It punishes so so hard and you know, I've won game. I've won a couple games just because my opponent decided decided to sit at two, and I'll just punish them with four raging forms in hand, and I'll have the combo ready, or I'll, I'll even just do it twice because sometimes that's just enough. They don't. They wouldn't really have a hand going into like stride phase or anything like that. So raging form is very deadly, and his mate is well, not mate, but. His counteractive partner would be the Revenger Phantom Blaster Abyss, who's one of the more reliable grade threes in this uh, in this deck, which is uh, on Legion counter blast two, 
uh, after the at the end of the battle, this unit attacks. You can retire three and then restand it. He also gains plus two whenever he attacks a vanguard. So he's really really good. I still prefer Mordred Abyss better uh, more just because of the consistency of the deck and the engine of the deck is just way better with access to Doran and Blaster Dark Revenger and then you'll still have uh, sword breakers because Judge Bao going off into two sword breakers is really de deadly which you know not a lot of people are afraid of when Judge Bao goes off in this deck so I I advertise Mordred Abyss more than Raging Form but Raging Form is a lot more fun and it's funny when you pull it off to say the least onto our triggers it's a pretty standard uh, shadow deck so it's a four draw it's a plus into hand if you haven't plused enough eight crit we get a boom and four heal and our strides um, pretty simple four dark black dark dragon phantom blaster diablo so you could honestly stride him first to get the judge bow name but i mean you never really do that because his uh his act is just way better and he's like a finisher mainly for this deck because you'll stride first into like Argeyser or grim recruiter and you know he just gets a free 10k and a crit so you could use him like a same blow then we have Argeyser Dragon, where you counter blast one, soul blast one, sack two, and then you plus basically five to your hand, assuming you don't hit draw trigger. And you normally stride them first just to dig for pieces if you can't really do much during your play, like if you couldn't go for Raging Form or if you don't want a Legion, something like that. One Grim Recruiter just to for that on hit pressure in case you don't want to use too much CB and things like that and then one Tekken of choice for myself would be Dark Dragon Spe Spectral Blaster Diablo um, normally I would use uh, Madu in this deck just because of the ability to grab a 3 from the drop zone but you know I think uh, Dark Dragon Spectral Blaster will have as a day to finish me a, a game of course so it's Ability is a uh, activate soul blast one, and then you retire a unit, and then you get the skill that during GB three, um, oh, you soul blast, and then you choose something face down. But then you get the skill that after it attacks, you choose two rear guards, you retire them, and you counter blast two, and then you can restand this. But he also loses a drive check, and that's not terrible. But you know, if you don't have anything to pass triggers to, it's kind of bad, kind of sad, but. Initially, same thing as Abyss, just a little, maybe a little more expensive with all the soul blasting and stuff, but, you know, Tekken of choice, I would say. Thank you guys for watching our deck profile on uh, the new and improved Raging Form. Personally, I still advise Mordred Abyss just because of the consistency, but Raging Form is super, super fun, especially with all his new friends like Maul and uh, Dark Bless Angel. Otherwise, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Vanguard Central out.